Hello Scorpio and welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive. Let's jump in and do a read for the month, uh, the first, I should say the first half of April, 2022. All right. This is going to be a love read, you and who. Uh, it could be someone that you're currently have your eye on or currently dating or someone you have yet to meet. All right. So let's jump into this and see what is going on for you, Scorpio. Check out your moon rising and your Venus signs as that's going to help you. So what is coming up for Scorpio? What do we get? Uh, the King of Swords, all right? The Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, I see that being a couple there. And then I got the Seven of Wands. What's at the bottom of the deck? Okay, so we've got Justice. This is Libra energy. This is all about finding balance in the situation. Some sort of fair, balance, equilibrium in here, okay? So let's take a look. Um, so we get the uh, King of Swords, and that is someone that is very much in their mind. They're very intellectual. They're very uh, authority of one's own mind. Uh, this is a, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. You might have it in your uh, sign or this, you know, or in your birth chart, or you could be just taking on that energy. Um, and then I get the Queen of Pentacles, which is down to earth motherly energy, uh, which is really focused on being grounded, using nature to kind of fuel her soul, right? Uh, and this is what I feel is coming up as some sort of pair here, okay? You could be taking on one of these, uh, you know, energies here. Uh, you, know, you know which one kind of fits for you. But if you're taking on all of these energies here, including the Seven of Wands, then this is all about being in, you know, focusing on the intellect as well as balancing yourself out from, an emo from a, a, a stability standpoint. So using your head in terms of your stability and not letting anything rock your world. This is someone who's taking, uh, you know... This is a, the seven is about one-on-one uh, uh, -on -one relationships. That's like the seventh house, alliances and conflicts and and uh, any sort of disagreements or agreements with others, legal matters. So kind of partnerships and even uh, marriage. Um, but this is about, you know, not letting anything rock your world, staying at your center, keeping a nice, beautiful aura around you, and even amidst those that are trying to vie for your attention. So the seven of wands is that fire energy, knowing that you're going to stay grounded no matter what. Uh, whatever comes what may in terms of a relationship or situation. So, but I do feel that right now you're kind of being wise about the situation and balancing yourself. So I kind of using your head to balance things out and being down to earth, the motherly energy and not let anything rock your world. This is what I'm getting right out of the gate for you. So interesting, Escobar, that's interesting that we see that there. So let's take a look. Give me one more card for you and, and see what else might want to come through. Now, it could be that you're dealing with an earth sign as well. Uh, and uh, you're trying to balance out the situation or have faith in the situation, not let anything get to you. Uh, and then I got the Empress. Ooh, okay. This is about birthing something new. This could be that maybe within a marriage you might have, uh, it could be that you're maybe dating someone and then this could be someone else uh, in the picture. Uh, or this could be birthing something new with that person that you're currently with. Um, this is the Empress energy, which is all about beauty. She is all about, uh, uh, you know, fertility, pregnancy, abundance, or very good parenting. This could be about, you know, two people parenting and coming together to balance things out. Um, or this could be that there is a third person here uh, that is pregnant outside of a situation. I'm just saying, you guys, what's coming through. It's not for everyone, but this is what's coming through here. Um, and this is about trying to maintain balance in the situation, okay? Um, the Empress is, um, you know, this is about... Uh, you know, uh, I don't know, there may be could be some sort of message. Uh, it's third house could be that, you know, could be some sort of communication coming from a birthing of something new in terms of the situation here. Um, but wow, you guys are going to know what it is for you. But like I said, if you're, you're, if you're taking on all this energy here, this is about using your head and then balancing things out, uh, on your physical plane and keeping a nice R around you, keeping your core balanced together so you can birth something new and move forward. Okay. So that's what I also get. So keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the divine love cards and see what wants to come out. Interesting. Gosh, you guys are just here. Interesting. Right. Right. Immediately. Right. You don't, uh, uh, hide anything here. Uh, roadblocks. This is about blockages that need to be removed before moving forward. Okay. So there's some sort of blockage to a uh, connection here. Uh, there's some sort of blockage uh, before something can start anew. Uh, look again, I think that there's more than two people here. I guess it, it just seems to be what's coming through here. 
There could be more than, and again, you, and, and for some of you, that could be the case where there's more than one person. There's a blockage before something can move forward. Something else has to be let go. Okay. Uh, chaos, unexpected, unforeseen events have created disturbances and has uh, disordered this partnership. See guys, that's what I feel. I feel that there is an empress here and that I do feel that there is some sort of couple that is up here. Okay. Uh, Gem this is uh, earth energy, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and then Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Okay. This is what I feel. You might have that in your chart. The other person might have it in theirs. And then I feel that there's an empress of someone that, uh, uh, yeah, you're tr it's about trying to keep balance in their a relationship, but there's roadblocks and there's chaos that's coming into play. Could be someone's thinking about that empress, uh, you know, energy or, uh, something, but there is something unexpected. Again, it could be a pregnancy, could be some sort of news, but before something could even move forward in a situation, something has got to be let go. Yeah, this is what's coming through here, guys. Okay. Uh, Hmm. Let's take a look at this other person on the other side. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Note your comments below, guys. Let me know if this resonates with you, okay? Uh, what do we get? Star card, Aquarius energy, okay? Uh, someone could be going through some healing, but this also could be having faith and wanting to, you know, uh, you know, being able to kind of move things forward, um, you know, being able to balance things before, you know, moving things forward, okay? So that's what I'm getting. The star card is all about, uh, you know, Aquarius energy, but having faith you know, not giving up their true north and what's important for them. Uh, again, it could, it just could be them even going through even some sort of healing. And wow. Ten of cups, ten of cups, uh, emotional fulfillment. Okay. Uh, this person is, uh, focused on emotional fulfillment right now. They're wanting the ten of cups. They do want this. If you're connected with a, perhaps, uh, you know, uh, an Aquarius or, uh, someone that is, uh, Focused on getting emotional fulfillment and not giving up on their dreams that might relate to someone. Uh, and this is about teamwork and collaboration. So this person, in terms of their emotions, wants teamwork and collaboration. I get the Ten of Cups, which is, you know, contentment, uh, total love and support is what they're wanting. And they want a uh, partnership. Uh, they want partnership and teamwork and collaboration in a relationship. And th that's what their dream is. That's what they don't want to give up on. So if that sounds like that person you might be dealing with, that's what's coming through. Uh, but they do uh, feel that's kind of where they're at right now and what they're looking for in love. Uh, anything else that may want to come out? Let's take a look. What do we get? The star card. In another deck, we get the Aquarius card coming out again. Guys, wow, this person could be doing healing in terms of, of love, but wanting, um, you know, getting support from others and teamwork, coming together with others in, in terms of team, uh, a teamwork to make their dream work, right? So this is what I'm getting, but we get the star twice in two, in a two different decks. And this is why I pull it up sometimes because what wants to come through and really confirm is going to show itself up. So uh, definitely check out your moon rising and Venus signs, okay? But this is what I feel that's happening here. Uh, what do the divine love uh, cards have to say for you here coming out uh, for this other person? What do we get? Uh, prideful. So there's pride that could be standing in the way on this person's side that is causing some sort of division in a partnership, uh, being prideful. Okay. Uh, what else is coming through here? Third party guys. Wow. Isn't this interesting on how this comes out? There's external influences that are affecting the dynamic. I feel that this empress is taking on this energy of this other person over here. And that could be the case, uh, that showed up over here. And there are external influences. I, I mean, really, it's laid out, guys. It just is really coming clear. Um, you know, pride, it could be something that this person is working on. And that is what is coming through here. Let's go back to you and take a look here, uh, uh, Scorpio. What else wants to come through here? What do we get? Uh, what do we get? Ten of Wands, letting go of the burdens. Uh, Four of Cups. And what do we get? The Eight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, uh, High Priestess Energy. Okay? So this is all about secrets, mystery, using your intuition and kind of trusting yourself. This is really on your side coming through here, Scorpio, to trust yourself and your intuition. Source, whatever connects you. That of which is hidden that cannot be seen. You've got to rely on your intuition and your connection within to give you those silent nuances and the messages and uh, the uh, you know, the feedback uh, that is, it wants to come through. So, um, I do get the 10 of wands 
And, you know, this is about letting go of those burdens. Now, this might have to do uh, with, uh, in terms of a situation, maybe this is letting go of the burdens um, in something. Now, this could be uh, in terms of your work or career. Maybe you're letting go of the burdens of something in terms of, uh, because it's a 10th house. The, the, the 10, if I look even at the 10 of the 10th houses, talks about life, you know, recognition, guides, career, vocation. I don't know if you're letting go of the burdens of something and you're deciding maybe to move in a different direction. Uh, this is the Four of Cups. Uh, this is about, you know, your psychological foundation, emotional foundation, uh, looking into your subconscious patterns and how that is affecting uh, your situation, your family life, your love life, uh, uh, your your roots going back to your heritage on, on, on what has kind of fell apart before you actually, or not as fell apart, but what has been emptied. Um, you know, it's not that it falls apart. Sometimes it falls apart to come together, right? This is about cups that are empty, but before you actually use this beautiful cup over here, uh, that this has you thinking, what is going to be growth for me, right? What is going to grow, be long-term? Um, and this is this is what I've overcome. Uh, this is what is, I've gone through in the experiences, but how am I going to use this? So you're thinking before you move forward, okay? And uh, it, it has to do with some sort of psychological foundation and patterns. I think you're letting something go. And, and then it has you doing research on this. Like you're doing more research on something. You're busy, maybe in esoteric studies for some of you. Uh, this is uh, fo focusing deeply on the depth of interaction with others to achieve growth and, and change. So you, it has you going into your, uh, re you're going through you know, some sort of uh, uh, growth and change and something needs to be transformed uh, and uh, this is rebirth, renewal, like death and rebirth of some sort. So I think you're getting more information because you're letting something go. To, to, you're letting something uh, go and you're thinking and as you're moving in and getting more information on it. Okay, so but I think it's esoteric studies of some sort. It could be um, for some of you. Uh, I do feel that maybe you're working by candlelight. Maybe you're looking at the moon. Uh, you know, that could be the case as well. Uh, I do see spices of some sort that could be the case. Uh, some of you could be thinking and getting outside in nature or daydreaming outside. Maybe you're looking outside uh, a lot. And uh, yeah, but there is a new cup that's offered towards you. So you know that you've got something ahead of you, uh, but you know that you're letting go of the burdens of the past. That doesn't uh, work for you anymore. Okay, that's, Gem that's Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. So you got fire, water, and earth here. Okay. And uh, what else wants to come through? Insecurity. There's lack of confidence and self-doubt that's delaying the, 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 the situation. So maybe you're insecure about leaving a, a certain situation to move on with what it is that you love. Person, place, or thing. Because I get insecurity here. Okay, what else do we get here? Uh, it's coming through. Confusion. There's um, uncertainty and a lack of understanding amongst parties. So there could be a lack of understanding between you and another person. This person over here, like this Empress, I feel that there is a lack of understanding. Like so there, there's a division here. Like, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, there's lack of understanding amongst all the parties, you know, here. So there's confusion. Yeah, uh, no doubt. And anything else? Ego. Ego might be causing a, a, a misdirection in the partnership, okay? So ego and pride might be getting in the way of moving towards what it is that you want or whom you want, you know, as well as insecurity. Let's take a look at uh, what uh, the uh, angel cards have to say for you here. Interesting. Hmm, guys, wow. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. That is so what's needed. They're honestly discussing your feelings with each other, which is probably the hardest thing that I find in the reads that's happening. I mean, it's the hardest thing to do sometimes, especially if we've gone through any sort of subconscious patterns that, you know, may have been thwarted, you know, in, in terms of maybe when we're young, maybe that, uh, you know, we didn't get enough of that nurturing because that is a key component in not being able to express feelings. If you didn't get the nurturing, the, the parenting of some sort that gave you a lot more love and that gets you a lot, little bit more confident, you know, it's moving forward. That could be for some of you, it's what's, uh, I feel that's coming through and that, that could be the case. Um, but this is what I'm getting coming through here. Okay. So having a heart to heart conversation to discussing, uh, with each other, you know, regarding the situation. Okay. Uh, anything else that might want to come through? What do we get? Uh, what is here? It's not you. It's me. 
So maybe this is something that you're realizing, Scorpio, that uh, maybe there's something that you need to work on uh, that is halting the situation at hand. Okay, what else? I'd rather hide. Wow. I think this is what's happening between the because there's a division. I'd rather hide rather than confront the situations or rather hide. Uh, yet by expressing them, it's going to free you. It's going to free you and free, uh, uh, you know, uh, the situation. Uh, but again, there could be other alternatives, uh, you know, standing in the way. Okay. You know what your story is, guys, but it's about I'd rather hide. So there's something holding back the situation. Okay. Uh, and uh, that's what I feel. Let's jump over to this other person over here and uh, see if there's anything else that might want to come through for them. Any further messages? Uh, third party and private. Let's take a look. Anything else? Yeah, broken hearted. Uh, this is emotional broken hearted. Uh, Three of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, Eight of Cups, walking away towards sunshine. And then the Page of Cups. Uh, yeah, this is that Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, which is all about compassion and intimacy. There is some sort of intimacy. Maybe you've shared with this person or it's it's available. Um, but this is what's coming through. I get the Three of Swords. Uh, this is about, uh, you know, communication. Uh, this is a person thinking that something's come to some sort of end and therefore uh, walking away from the situation. Uh, this is renewal, death, rebirth, transformation, growth and change from the situation. And then I get a page of cups, uh, um, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There could be a message coming through. Now, you could be considering putting a message towards this person, guys, um, or, uh, you know, this person, could, you know, that could be the case, uh, especially... Um, Something has walked away. The Eight of Cups is walking away. Something, someone's been transformed because of the situation and moving towards the light of the sun. And then I feel that some sort of message comes through. They feel that maybe, you know, when pigs fly, that steps will be taken, you know, in terms of moving forward in a message coming through of love. And that could be the case. So they feel like they're just kind of walking away, like nothing's happening. Uh, I'm going to pull another card on this here. Let's uh, take a look at another card. Wow. Um, I get water and, uh, and, uh, air energy. Guess what I get guys? Eight of cups walking away. Another confirmation, but in a different tarot deck. Isn't this interesting? Could be, you know, this is about, um, how do I want to say this? Uh, this could be about, you know, a withdrawal or maybe, maybe you've just had a withdrawal or a retreat on the relationship or situation. It's moving on and moving on from the past. Maybe someone has experienced abandonment. Okay. Uh, maybe someone feels abandoned in this relationship or this connection. Okay. Because there's no momentum moving forward. It's just, you know, heartbreak or whatever. Um, let's uh, take a look at, uh, anything else from the angel cards for this other person. What do we got? Passion. Yeah, there's, there's passion here, but this, maybe it's about, maybe it's about letting this person express passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. There's some passion here, no doubt. I felt it here. I really felt that there was, uh, there's, there's some passion here in this connection between you both. Okay. Let's take a look at what, um, uh, the love, uh, Oracle cards have to say. Let's take a look at what that is. Uh, what do we have here? It is. What is it? divine timing. Whoa. You could be thinking about what you're going to do, um, uh, Scorpio. This here is divine timing. The connection is divinely guided and it's supported. And you know, wow, this is interesting. This, wow. Yeah. And let me pull another card on this guys. Okay. Interesting. What do we get? Fantasy. Somebody's living in a fantasy world that does not exist. So this person could be, you know, having to clear up what is real and what is uh, rose colored glasses in the relationship or situation. And it's just going to take divine timing. And that's going to help, you know, both of you, this person's got work to do too. So well, let's take a look at what is um, unrevealed, uh, any sort of thoughts or secrets uh, here that want to come through. Our time will come. That's what this person is thinking. They're believing in the divine timing of this. Whoa. And what do we get? Don't give up on me. Oh, this person doesn't want you to give up on, on, on them. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're going to take this into the extended. We're going to find out what it is that they haven't told you what they want most and what'll be their next steps. And the same for you. Uh, we're going to find out what that looks like for you. We'll get messages from both sides as well. And then we'll have a potential outcome 
including Oracle advice. So if you want to take that deep dive, guys, we're going to go deeper and find out even some timing involved. I'll pull my time cards on this as well as my heal the uh, uh, situation and what can better help you communicate uh, to get out of uh, uh, some sort of like, you know, uh, the the kind of the silence here. Now, we know divine time is in place, but we're going to confirm that even in, in the initial, um, in the extended read as well, what that timing looks like. So we'll pull cards on that. So if you want to join me, click the link below, guys, in the description box. If not, and this resonates with you, smash that like button, guys. Uh, let me know that this resonates. Uh, note your comments below, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Lots of love, guys. Namaste.